And now we return to find our three witches, or Ferra Pythonusum, as they observe from their natural habitat inside the vortex. This is a rare opportunity to get an up-close view of the elusive witch as they quickly alert to any threats of danger. Their leader, Mildred, keeps a close eye on the plot's development. Uh, do you mind? And we're back. Jeez, I barely had time to rush to the bathroom. Upon returning to their posts, the witches find a comfortable place to continue serving as external narration. Their ghost friend, however, has different plans. Who? Me? Is he going to do that the whole time? Who wrote you into this scene anyway? When startled by an intruder, the witches grow increasingly agitated. Never mind. It's time to set the scene. Is it time? We find ourselves in a forest. Now. The night is cold and dark. Now. The pale moon hidden behind the clouds. Now. Oh, for hell's sake. Yes, Ghost Janet, yes. Yes, now is your scene. Go on, get in there. I call to thee the weird and wild. You. Those who are to some reviled. I summon thee with powers great to hear this world and on this date. I prithee now to where I stand to write injustice of this land. Mm, there, we're in the scene now. Is everyone here? The witches now appear in the scene they once observed. Oh, go use your rich, buttery voice to save endangered monkeys. Oh, oh, mm. Very well. As I was saying, are we all here? <sighs> Why does it have to be raining? What are you complaining about? At least you're wearing closed-toed shoes. Hail and well met. Yes, hello, Ghost Janet. Did she already forget she came here with us? Oh, this is going to take forever. Your powers are most incredible. Too bad we don't have the power to- Most powerful three, I have summoned you here in my hour of need. Can we just get on with this? Ugh, what is with this weather? I can hardly hear myself think. Hmm, that's better. Now, Janet, let's get to the point, shall we? What are we doing here? I did summon thee to aid my descendant. She is in danger, and I cannot reach her to warn her, no matter what I try. She scorns the head witch hunter of this town. You will soon realize that she will never marry him. Ah, uh, yes. They really don't take rejection well, do they? I beg you, save her from sharing my deplorable destiny, which was most foul and unjust. Yes, we know. If she starts... To a horrible, wretched, tragic fate. One that I am reluctant to relive once again, but... Come on! My brother, stepfather to the governor, had some most wicked plans that did vex the governor, and so he punished my brother's family. My own self, most mercilessly of all. One by one, under painful torture, did my loyal servants, family, and friends name me a witch. Finally, the governor had his revenge, and I was hanged in front of my own poor children. For the last time, we were there. Obedience does not know the danger she is in. He has begun composing love ballads for her. Oh, boy. I have tried to warn her, but she cannot see or hear me. Oh, well, that's easy. She will see and hear me now. As easily as we do. I bet she won't thank us for that. Which way to the town, Ghost Janet? It lies this way. Ow! Hold down, GJ. We can't float. We have to go around the trees. When we get to town, we should take lodging and get some rest. Agreed. Being summoned through time and space always gives me jet lag. Can we have separate rooms this time? If I have to listen to Agnes snore again tonight... Still better than your night terror hex casting. Greetings to thee, righteous followers of the light. It is I, your most humble servant, Matthew Cook. Today, I bring to you the latest from the most trustworthy source on the stamping out of witchcraft, me. 
Oh, that is right. I, the supreme witch hunter and five-time annual royal witch hunt champion, will share my most successful tactics to bag yourself a witch. Just pick up my most modestly innovative publication to date, How to Know She Be a Witch, published by Matthew Cook, for the benefit of the whole entire world. My latest pamphlets will give you all the best tips, tricks, and secrets to seeking out those sadistic satanic sisters in your town. And as special bonus content, I have included my own recipe for bread, signed with the likeness of my very own signature. But friends, if you are still finding yourself unable to rid your hometown of creepy crones on your own, all you have to do is send a message to my offices in town with a self-addressed return message, and I will personally... You heard right. Personally, come and rid your town of evil for just $19.99. Offer only available within nine leagues of the home office. Some restrictions shall apply. Do not wait until she hath made Satan her mate. Utter nonsense. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying some people. And who are these people? No one I know. I'm just saying, it's difficult to believe once you read the evidence. Ah, yes, evidence. Willie, the witches themselves confess to flying, dancing with the devil, even romantic relations. See, that's where you have to do your own research. The Witch Commission had no restrictions on the use of torture. Surely you don't believe... Did you know that the government banned any criticism of the trials on pain of whipping and banishment? Willie... We're not even sure the Bamberg trials really happened. Does Bamberg even exist? I've never been there. Have you? It could just be a conspiracy to elicit sympathy to- Good day, gentlemen. Oh, hello, humility. Such a lovely day. (laughs) Goodman Willie! What? What do you mean, what? You have been cursed. Huh? Do not speak, Willie. Say nothing. Save your strength. You there! What enchantment have you cast upon my friend to ruin his most excellent health? Who? Me? Yes, you, witch. Why, I've done nothing. Now. A witch, most sure. Just look how my poor friend's health fails him. I think I just need a handkerchief. Here you go, Willie. Thank you. Oh, and now she has given you a cursed item. I am not a witch. Surely you know me. I know nothing but that a woman's soul is vulnerable and weak. (laughs) I'm actually feeling much better now. (coughs) Is there hay somewhere around here? Or a dog? Be strong, Master Willie. (coughs) I will myself interrogate this witch right here and now and get to the bottom of this. What is in your basket, madam? Charms, bats, potions, dolls, a black cat? Bread and ale for supper. Cursed bread and ale for supper? No. Aha! Uh-huh. You lie, madam. That is no ale. It's beer. Fine. It is beer. Cursed beer! Peter, I've never known humility to lie. I feel much better now. Maybe it was just a few sneezes. This show of the devil's work must not go ignored, Willie. Come, we must bring her to prison before she can strike down another victim. Goody Margaret? Goody Margaret? Where is she? Goody Margaret, where are you? Come out! (laughs) Yes? What is it? Ah, there you are. You have to do something about Widow Anne, Margaret. Hello? Good morning, Widow Anne. What have you gotten up to? You will hardly believe it when I tell you. This morning, I found her digging in my flower bed. The racks were out of order. I could have overlooked that, but... She filled my brand new boots with mud. They were from London. How else would you get any taller? And then she got into the barn. You simply cannot ride a cow, Widow Anne. Why not? Because, because... She wasn't very well trained. (laughs) By the time I caught up to her, she had climbed the apple tree. The cow was loose in the garden, eating the crops, and... and, Well, we just got her clothes back on. Please, just... (laughs) Take her! Or lock her away. It doesn't matter. Just get her away from me. Or else I may just begin to question... Come along, Widow Anne. Let's get you some tea. See you next year. I have half a mind to bring her before the court and have her wits questioned by a doctor. Good morning, obedience. Good morning, Margaret. Hello, Widow Anne. Lovely time of year, isn't it? 
I just love it when the horse flies are out. You'd best be careful not to be seen with that book obedience. The pricks are hard at work today. They've just taken humility. Humility? She struck down Willie Peck with the satanic sniffles. Oh, really now? Humility has no more evil in her than a baby duck. It seems like we'll all have our day in court sooner or later. The worst form of injustice is pretended justice. What I don't understand is how anyone could believe that all of the people sitting in the jail are some kind of supernatural magicians. If they really were witches, wouldn't they just cast a spell to get away? What would be the point of being able to fly or pass through doors if they don't do it when their actual life depends on it? Careful obedience. You're sounding far too rational for a female. I am ever so sorry, Mistress Margaret. (laughs) Perhaps I must return to perfecting my sweet pie recipe. Let's make pie! I know you're right. But saying so out loud could get us killed, or worse. I'm just tired of being so helpless. I wish there was something I could do to stand up to this insanity. Well, I have something that might cheer you up. (gasps) Margaret, you did not. Here you go. Ah, new cat pictures! There is an artist who sells them at the market. Two for one. Wait until you get to the one of the kitten napping in a flower bed. Oh, these are excellent drawings. And in the style of the French masters. Look, this one sits on a chair as if it were a human. Oh, and this one wears a little hat. I'm glad you like them. Now please come inside if you wish to read. I will feel much better when you and your book are out of view. Thank you, Margaret. I've been trying to read this same page for six days now. Of course. After all, we have sworn a covenant to protect each other, dear sister. I will go start the tea... Is she... Oh, she'll be fine. I haven't lit the fire yet. Margaret, shh. John Thomas is coming this way. What is he wearing? Is that his Sunday best? And he has flowers. Oh, no. Hide your book. Uh, And as I was saying in the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Galatians chapter 5, verse 12. Oh, hello, Master John Thomas. Ahem. Greetings, goody Margaret. Lovely obedience, these are for you. I wondered if you would walk with me so that I might have a private word. Alas, it would be, um, inappropriate for me to walk with a man and no chaperone. Oh, yes, of course. Bless you, gentle heart. Always guarding your virtue so carefully. Whatever you have to say, you may do so in front of my dear friend Margaret. As you wish. Dear, sweet obedience, as you surely know, I have a good position in the Witch Hunters Guild and a nice home, but lately I find it lacking the warmth of a gentle and good woman. I believe that it is time I took a wife, and I desire that wife to be you, as you are the least objectionable woman I know. I am honored and Very unworthy of your affections, Master Thomas. Oh, so modest. You may call me John. Alas, I'm a poor match for you. Oh, aren't you precious? Your insistence that I am your better only makes you more attractive as a mate. I would never make you happy, John. I can't cook, or so I have a black Your demure nature is so becoming. I'm just being honest. Another one of your very unobjectionable virtues. Margaret, am I talking? You are. Do you hear me, John? I cannot marry you. But surely you go too far in this jest. Please, listen to me. I cannot accept. So... Are you saying no? Yes. So yes! No! But I am a good man, one of the best in town. How could you say no? I am sorry. I am so very honored. Ah, someone else has won your heart. That must be it. Name him, for I will work even harder to... No, I, I just... No. Then you desire to die alone? Without child to live a life of solitude? You misunderstand. What? Tell me. I will not rest until I know the reason. Um, yes. Uh, You know what? In fact, there is someone else 
Oh, uh, you have seen through my weak and feeble ruse. Who is this man, then? I will challenge him to a duel at dawn. I shall win your affections by murdering your love before your eyes. Who is he? Oh, um, his name is... Uh, let me see. Uh, Johannes. What? Johannes? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> his name is Johannes. Uh, Johannes Kepler. I shall strike him down where he stands. I will make him wish. Yes, Johannes is my true love's name. That is his name, most definitely. Yes, Johannes. Lovely man. He's a... Pastor. Who doesn't speak English. And travels often. A pirate. What? And blind. Oh, yes. Uh, there would be no honor to killing a blind pirate pastor. Oh, alas, how I long to be his most tame and docile wife. This is most upsetting obedience. I do not like this feeling. I'm sorry, John. I always thought we would end up together. I only wish I had not already given my heart away. You will let me know if you change your mind? Of course. Then I shall leave you for now. Good day. Obedience, you dropped your... What is this? Oh, nothing. That, that's mine. Well, it's a book of my husband's. He's a man. Obedience was just... This book. Mysterium Cosmographicum. Margaret! Uh... What is the meaning of this Mysterium Cosmographicum? Why, that sounds like an incantation by... Johannes Kepler? Your German pirate pastor? No, it means... And here with it I find portraits of a cat doing human things? Those are just... It is a familiar... Those are all mine, John. Not Margaret's. Of course. That is why you reject my proposal. You have been bewitched. Only by the lure of science and philosophy. Surely those are not subjects for a woman such as yourself. Then it can only be that the man you are betrothed to is... Here we go. <gasps> Satan! You are a bride of the devil. A witch. And here I was taken by your spell. Surely you must have enchanted me to believe I loved you. Why would I do that and then turn you down? Oh, I don't know. Your amusement, maybe? Or did the devil send you to do so because I have been so successful in hunting down his minions? I beg you, please listen to reason. You are a woman, madam, and therefore incapable of reason and... And you're not even that pretty anyway. This is hard to watch. I am sorry if I have hurt or embarrassed you, John. You will address me as Master John Thomas. I am the head of the Pricks of Puritanical Piety Guild and Social Club, and I hereby charge thee, Obedience Sneed, with selling your immortal soul to Satan. No! You will come with me now, or I will send Willie and Peter to collect you. Wait! Stay out of this, goody Margaret. I, uh, want to join. Margaret, what? What did you say? The Pricks. I want to join. I want to become a witch hunter. <laughs> That's out of the question. And why is that? I want to identify and charge witches. Protect the town from evil and the devil and whatnot. That is admirable, Goody Margaret. But there are so many things a witch hunter must know and do. It requires a great, keen, sharp mind. Someone that will study and fill his mind with facts. He must be able to defend himself against the lure of the devil. Great. Sign me up. He... Must be wise, fair, humble, and... I'm the humblest. Pure of heart. Of course. Of sound mind. An absolute must. Strong, healthy body. Lots of muscles. You are not a man, Goody Margaret. You cannot be a prick. So only men are allowed to hunt witches? While I admire your spirit, it is trapped in that weak, womanly vessel of yours. Only a man's mind is clever enough to outsmart the devil. You know, that is interesting. Because while you've been talking complete nonsense this entire time, obedience has escaped. Stop her! Stop obedience, Need! I have Let her. me go! Clever, Goody Margaret, very clever. You haven't escaped our scrutiny either. In fact, Willie and Peter have come to collect you right now. Me? 
On what charges? Good wife Margaret Brown, you are hereby charged with casting enchantments by your good neighbors, Mary and Barnaby Watson, who witnessed you muttering incantations over your tulips and, as a result, made them grow more brilliantly white than is natural in comparison to the Watsons. My flowers were too pretty? You will come with me immediately, madam, to answer for your crimes, or I will have you and your co-conspirators dragged to prison through the town. Naked. Now just you wait. Margaret, please. We're innocent. We'll find another way. Gentlemen, lock them up. Meanwhile, our witches explore the strange new territory they found themselves in. Oh, great. He's back. Obedience. She is in danger. We're working on it. You know, we didn't have a very big part in this one. Well, hang on. We're about to get busy. Are you sure? We've just been hanging around so far. Obedience! We know! And so, the witches now armed with a plan move into the town to begin the covert operation. Will they rescue Obedience before it's too late? Will the pricks prevail? Is he gonna do this in every episode? Tune in next time and find out. It was a horrible, wretched, tragic fate.